Okay, so take two. Mike's really happy with me this morning. Okay. We already went to Dollar General because I needed some stuff. Yeah, he's using my shower. And um, let me back up. Okay. A lot of his old white guy friends from their wives and girlfriends and stuff at Christmas got things like sweaters and towels and appliances, you know, golf clubs, stuff like that. I gave him two things. I already gave him my New Year's gift too. One, for Christmas, I promised him for the next 20 years, I will not shoplift. Now, we all know when I was 16, I stole a necklace from the New York State Fair and I felt so guilty about it. I returned it, even though it was 16 bucks, and I never shoplifted again until I started hanging out with B and his stupid Olympic friends. And then I thought, if the Olympic soccer players can do it, then why can't I? And so I've never actually shoplifted anything, but I tell people I do just because they do and I want to look cool. But Mike really has a problem with that, so one for Christmas. I promise for the next 20 years, I will not shoplift anything ever. Even if we break up, I won't do it, which is really easy for me because I didn't do it anyway. So, but he's really happy with it because he thought I did. All right, better gift than a sweater. Two, I promised him as my New Year's gift for the next 50 years, I will not physically abuse him. Now, this may not be a big concern for a lot of people, but it is for people that are getting really, really old, getting um, physically abused when you're starting to get senile, like people in their 60s, is a big concern, especially if you're dating a young gold digger, which I'm not, but I just wanted to make him feel better, so that was my second gift. And um, he didn't go around telling everybody because he doesn't like to brag, but... Um, we went, out, we went out this morning, and so I came out, and I was like, because he didn't get out of the car, and I was like, look what I got, and he was like, what are you going to do with those? And I was like, don't, don't, don't worry, why would you, and I showed him the receipt, and he was all like, really happy with me about that, and he was like, what took so long? And I was like, well, you know, I was in the back, um, taking pictures of stuff I wasn't going to buy, because whatever, and they got the craft, the movie, and I didn't even get to take a picture of that, because this guy came up, and he was like how much is this appliance? And I was like, well, I don't know. All the other ones say 10 bucks on it, but I'm going to say three bucks. And he goes, you don't work here though. And I go, no. And he goes, this, I'm going to tell them anyway that you said it was three bucks. I said, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. He said, like, huh? So I walk up to his front store like 10, 15 minutes later and he's right up front and he's like, the girl in the back told me that this one was three bucks. And I was like, I looked at him, he goes, here she is now. And they, they all know me. And they're all like, oh, really, Kenda? You said it was three bucks? Well, it's scanning for 20. And then they were like, you should have been here on Christmas Eve. All the appliances were $5. And um, and they don't tell you ahead of time and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, nobody bought anything because they didn't need one. I was like, yeah. And they were like, yeah. And I got home. And my toaster broke. And so we got into a big conversation about that. And he was like, well, how much is it? Right? And they were like, well, it's 20 bucks, which is what he paid. But when I told the story to Mike, I told him they gave it to him for three bucks anyway. And so he turned around and handed me 10 bucks and I didn't take it. I donated it to St. Jude and then I paid for my stuff anyway in order to make up for other people who shoplift that I've hung out with in my life. And he's just like so proud of me for being such a good person right now. Yeah. Sometimes I surprise even myself.